Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for Friday, September 16th, 2022. Well, yesterday we had another day of just kind of a choppy, nasty price action day that ultimately ended up just a little bit lower in the markets. And then, then the penny dropped. Um, we had pretty ugly situation here with um, the FedEx CEO coming out um, uh, missing um, on their first quarter earnings and revenue and um, also withdrawing their full year guidance. And the CEO um, is pretty um, bearish overall saying that um, we are likely to sink into a global recession. Now, this is one of the things that I have been talking about in the Right Way Options room is that the next move lower is likely going to be when companies begin to miss um, move guidance and offer up profit target warnings. And um, unfortunately, look what happened to uh, is happening to F FedEx this morning. Um, pretty ugly situation. And that really starts to create significant damage um, in charts when we start to see that happen. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Unfortunately, we have a bit of an ugly morning forming up um, with the realization um, of FedEx that um, we're missing, um, missing pretty substantially. They are missing substantially on um, their guidance and earnings, and we start to see um, some some damage um, happening here in the indexes. So what we have officially this morning, um, uh, I'm going to call this officially this morning, um, we've got the lower high here in the Dow, followed by a lower low. And unfortunately, um, in this chart, we have broken um, this support level, or we will be breaking it completely this morning on the follow through which puts us in a situation here in the chart that we start looking for the next leg lower. And we would have a tough time um, finding a really good support level down here. So watch that closely, not, a gr not the best of support levels. I think what this does is it kind of sets us up for a retest of the lows of the year here. Now, having said that, that doesn't mean that we can't bounce or that we won't bounce. But what that does mean is if we bounce back up, we have created a fairly significant resistance level in the chart. And if that were to occur, I would suspect it would look something like that. And we would uh, potentially continue that downtrend to the downside. Now, I was kind of thinking yesterday that we might just consolidate, that we would need um, uh, to, to wait until the FOMC, we would need to wait until earnings. Um, to start to begin, and I thought we might just chop uh, through here, um, kind of waiting, but now I'm already getting some guidance from companies. Uh, that's creating a very difficult scenario here for the market. And so just be very, very careful. Um, right way options, we're on the short side of the market right now. So we're profiting, profiting nicely in this, but I can certainly understand how a lot of folks are, are being hurt and just wanna throw up their hands and say, what in the world is going on? Well. This is what happens when we over speculate to the long side. We, we stretch a market too far and then we start into that corrective move here in the market. And um, I think there is a possibility we at, at a minimum retest the lows here in the diamonds. Now, if we take a look at our 
technicals in the chart. Obviously, this is not a good situation. We are in a bearish um, move here. The bearish trend continues. Um, 34 and 20 below uh, the 50 day moving average here on the chart. So if we take a look at the SPY, SPY is also going to get thumped on the head here today, um, gapping um, lower and in the same situation here where we're kind of gapping down below one of the bigger areas of price support left here in um, the um, 2022 price action and so we'll want to watch that closely looking lower there is some price support right in here it's not the best of price support but there's some price support so we might be looking down here around 380 for the spy for that bounce location but if we do catch that bounce early then remember we've got resistance levels and downtrend here to be thinking about in that chart and then if we take a look at our moving averages once again we've created that technical resistance zone up here um, not only price resistance zone but technical resistance zone in the chart um, so we just keep getting you know um, one thing that happens in a market like this is it tends to pile on um, it'll just pile on and pile on and pile on um, we'll get another company and another company that comes out and says we, we're gonna miss and it just kind of uh, grows that way um, in fact it'll they'll be they'll come a day when you'll go man I wish I could just buy a good story for the market and um, so far um, we've been doing pretty well with the back and forth here between the bulls and the bears that may soon end if we start seeing um, earnings guidance going to the south so just be careful then if we take a look at our qqq qqq has been um, stubbornly holding on to this price support just pretty stubbornly and then yesterday at the end of the day we saw um, those sellers um, coming on and um, we're looking at that gap lower this, this morning and we're continuing to see um, those um, treasury yields um, continuing to rise um, making for a very very difficult situation here for tech as those rates continue to push up with expectations that the Fed will be strongly raising rates in the coming meeting um, next week. So just watch that close. And again, here on the technical patterns, well, pretty darn bearish with the 20 and the 34 breaking down below the 50, creating that next barrier here in the chart. Now, if we take a look at our Russell, IWM has been incredibly strong, um, surprisingly strong to me that the small caps have held up well. And one of the things you can see, so if I'm trying to give you a silver lining here. One of the things we can see um, or have seen in the past is that um, small caps can lead the market. So um, fingers crossed, maybe if you're bullish on this market, then you might want to watch in here to see whether or not um, IWM kind of starts to lead the market back to an upside and or make an improvement here so far if you notice in here we've held these support levels in the chart and not only that we've held this downtrend break it's the only index that's done that so far so watch that closely if if this were to join the rest of the crowd though then um, you know I think all bets are off but if it can hold in here and show support in that area then there is that possibility that IWM could start picking back up and leading just a little bit in the market and that's something it used to do um, so watch that closely now if we take a look at our technicals here in the chart they are deter deteriorating as you can see um, the 50-day moving average um, we've got our 34 and our 20-day moving average um, trying to cross through of course the 8 has already failed at the 50 and pushing back but price action hasn't given in to a new low here yet in the Russell so kind of an interesting uh, uh, chart here let's take a look at our VIX now our VIX yesterday um, just kind of hovered uh, we we've had a couple of days of just some nasty choppy um, and it's it's really institutional computer driven chop um, that has occurred here in the market 
What I think is glaring is that institutions are not buying things up. What that would suggest to me is they don't believe that value has been placed in the market yet. Um, typically, when we get a big sell-off like that, uh, like we saw, what we've seen in the last years um, uh, of the market, uh, we get a big sell-off like that, and immediately institutions are in there buying up the value. Well, they haven't done that here. And that kind of makes me believe that there may be some additional selling on the way here soon. So watch that closely unless something dramatic changes here. Um, I think there may be that, that chance. Now, gapping down this morning, we're likely to see the VIX spike up a little bit. And this is the kind of thing that can start that panic cycle where people will um, uh, do, um, uh, you know, that it'll turn their head around and they'll just start bailing on the market to protect their capital. So I'm not saying that's going to happen today, but I do say that that um, does um, uh, does potentially have um, risk here for the market um, over the next few days. So watch that close. Now, I don't think this gets bad unless we spike above this area. I think if we spike above this area in fear, and we've done that before, when that occurs, uh, computer algorithms go nuts. They um, they just start rebalancing like crazy, and the market um, fails pretty hardly hard. So, just watch carefully for that potential. If it does occur, I'm not trying to predict it. I'm just saying that's where things can get really brutal if we start breaking through those levels up there. And then if we take a look at our T2122, I was talking about this yesterday in the Right Way Options Trading Room that, um, you know, unfortunately we, we haven't made this decision here. We were just kind of limping along here. Um, we hadn't fully reached an oversold condition in the market, which we may reach this morning with uh, a gap down. It's very, very possible we could reach that oversold condition here in the market. Now, keep in mind, we can linger down there. It doesn't mean we get that immediate bounce back, but we'll want to watch that closely um, for that potential that it could occur uh, on this gap down this morning. So watch that close. What it does say is if we can find reason for bullishness, we'll have opened a big opportunity for an upside relief rally. But unfortunately, uh, the way things are looking this morning, it looks like it could be kind of rough. And you know, the thing is, guys, it's around the world that that um, that ugliness that we're seeing is around the world. Asian markets sold off pretty strongly last night, even though they had better than expected economic data, um, the Chinese um, uh, yuan um, is falling hard against the U.S. dollar. Um, if we take a look at UUP here, um, we are um, continuing to spike up in the strength of the dollar as the Federal Reserve works to fight inflation. And that's weakening things dramatically in China, causing some major economic problems over there. And then in Europe, most of Europe is lower this morning. We got the FTSE just a tiny little bit higher this morning, but most of, most of Europe is decidedly bearish. And the pound sterling is now at a 37 year low against the dollar. Um, Europe looks to me like there's no way to avoid recession with the gas, um, uh, the energy crisis that they have over there. And um, that is likely to expand in other places. So we'll want to be kind of careful here. I don't want to just sound like, oh, all gloom and doom. One of the things I want to um, remind everyone that when we get a major sell-off in the market, it's actually a good thing. It revalues companies at better levels so we can buy them cheaper. We'll be able to buy good companies at a bargain basement price. And the thing that always happens with the market, when we do things like this, we oversell, we panic. Markets panic, we oversell, just like we overbuy. And when those things occur, it sets up awesome opportunities to really make money. So be careful, don't lose your capital in a process like this fighting the market. Um, try to be um, focused in on the price patterns and, and be realistic with what's going on here. Um, if we start getting more and more companies guiding lower um, in the next couple of weeks as we head toward um, earnings, 
then um, this could get worse pretty fast. So be kind of careful. Let's take a look at our T2108. Now T2108 yesterday, um, interesting chart. We did continue to push back here and this is pretty damaged now where we had broken that resistance to the upside or that trend to the upside. Um, we rallied back here recently and failed at that point. And um, yesterday we saw a little bit more selling. Um, less than 30% of the company is holding above their 40 day moving average. Pretty tough to make a bullish case on something like that. And then our T2107 um, has been the savior, um, at least at the moment, holding. Notice we broke that trend, um, bounced right back up, and we're still holding. So for, for now, again, you know, fingers crossed for those of you who want to see those bulls come in strong. They're trying to hold here. So watch that rustle pretty closely. If it, if it holds, that could help. Def defend the other indexes for a period of time. If it starts to buckle, then um, um, be careful because we'll, we will um, we could potentially see that panic start to come into the market. If we take a look at our T2101, T2101 continued to show that um, downside momentum um, here in the market. But yesterday, I got it. I gotta say, it was. Um, another one of those days where volume didn't come in until right at the end of the day. I mean, right at the end of the day where volume came in. Otherwise, it was just a, a, a drippy drab um, day um, in the market. So um, kind of a one of those challenging times in the market where it's very, very boring. You want to trade something. There was just enough of hops and pops to, to make you uh, pull the trigger on something. And um, waking up this morning to uh, maybe be punished. So be kind of careful. Let's take a look at our um, economic calendar for today. Um, I, I decided not to do a blog today because there really isn't a whole lot to do a blog on. Just a lot of uh, pain out there in the market right now. Um, we've got consumer sentiment. Um, this is one of my favorite numbers. Um, we'll want to watch carefully for that. Consensus is expecting that to improve. So keep an eye on that. If it does improve, well, that does say, and, and there's a reason it could. Gas prices have come down. That's a major impact for uh, consumers. They might see a little improvement and that could provide a little bit of levity in the market and maybe get us after we gap down starting to rally back toward resistance so watch carefully um, on that number um, Baker Hughes um, I don't think anybody's going to care on that we will want to plan for the possibility of lots of volatility today because this is a quadruple witching um, day where um, futures options um, uh, monthly options quarterlies are expiring so there's a lot of moving around that could occur um, on a day like that um, and then Treasury International Capital which um, is at at the bell um, at the end of the day. So I don't think that's going to be of a major consequence to the market. Now, keeping in mind, looking ahead um, into um, next week, that is going to be a little bit different. Um, um, remember, next week, Wednesday, we're going to get the FOMC um, um, decision, and it's not expected to be anything less at this point than a 75 basis point increase. <laughs> Um, so they're continuing to tamp down on the market. They're continuing to press the, you know, uh, lean into those brakes, slowing uh, the market condition. So just kind of keep that in mind. And then if we um, were to take a look at our earnings calendar, nothing happening today. Um, we have zero uh, companies that are confirmed to report today. So not much there for inspiration. We're going to be kind of faced with news events um to uh move us around so just you know just watch that close let's take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up but 
before we do that guys if you could do me that quick favor if you could click that subscribe button on youtube click that bell icon and then if you feel that the video is worthy if you could click that thumbs up button and also leave a brief comment and please try not to shoot the messenger um, i am trying to keep um, everyone um, on the right side of this market and um, i hope you understand that i want to be bullish as well but i just can't see it in the market at the moment um, so really, really quickly, because I'm running this video long already, there are um, quite a few stocks out there to be keeping an eye on for those potential shorting patterns. And I've talked a lot about um, this recently, that a lot of the tech sector areas are struggling heavily. Um, and um, any rally back on some of these stocks um, looks to me like a great opportunity to short. Um, those stocks because uh, these bond prices are getting very very challenging for them bond and uh, the the yields on the bonds um, getting very very challenging for them interest rates are getting very challenging if we look at Google looks like Google could um, make new lows here this morning when was the last time that you heard Google is planning layoffs um, so we've got some um, some bad things coming here in the market so start looking for a lot of those short trades as stocks rally back don't chase the move down let them rally back and then look for your entry short now places you can look long um, there are quite a few of, of those out there um, still holding up well they may get drawn into the selling here soon first solar is setting up nice little high low here um, um, looking really good a lot of money flowing toward these alternative energies um, as you guys know i've been mentioning like plug uh, power here um, to keep an eye on it it's been holding up but yesterday uh, tried to pop found some sellers this resistance may hold into that chart so keep an eye on that um, CCJ we're seeing um, some damage now coming into CCJ um, this has been very very strong again alternative energy um, one of the things that you can see though is a lot of things can get drawn into this and when we see the dollar getting stronger and stronger and stronger anything commodity wise can be negatively affected so with that guys I'm going to cut that short it's it is a Friday it's it's going to be um, kind of a rough open here this morning be be careful be safe um, remember this isn't the end of the world as a matter of fact this may be one of the best things that can happen to the market is that we sell off and bring those prices those valuations back to a normal level and then it becomes much much easier to make money in the market as long as you don't lose that capital fighting the market direction on the way down so with that everyone i want to wish you all the very very best have an awesome weekend and i'll see you right back here bright and early Monday morning. Take care. Everyone.